Hey, this is Gary from Wandcraft, and today I am going to show you how I made this. The Alder Wand. Find the light right there. Yeah, that looks good. All right, you wanna see how I made this? Well, come on, I'll show you. Okay, so I cut the board at approximately one by one inch, uh, or whatever the thickness of the board is, make it even, and about 15 inches long. I'm using a one-way jaw check system because I like the stability, but you could easily get away with just the spur center. Okay, for the height of the tool rest, you want it just a little bit below center, so when you put the tool on, the tool is pretty much center in there. You want it pretty close to the wood, too. If you're gonna be working on the lathe, make sure that you practice safety. You need goggles, respirator, or better yet, a face shield. Okay, so now I've got the wood all rounded out here. First, we start with the pommel. That's gonna give us an idea of how the rest of the wand is gonna look. Before we get too far, I want to take a pencil and mark out where I'm going to have the swells at. Now let's start shaping this thing. Definitely don't want it to be exactly like the Elder Wand. 
Since this is my tank, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of my own design elements in there, like the stripes here. Once I made the groove, I took a guitar string and wrapped it around and pulled it tight for just a couple seconds there. That actually burns it and burns a really nice clean stripe in the wood. Let's go ahead and sand all the way up to about 400 grit. Now that the basic shape of the wand is done, we're gonna take a pencil and mark on the handle where we're gonna carve it out. Once that's carved out, we're gonna go ahead and freehand a bunch of pits in the handle and throughout the swells on the wand. I'm using a Dremel to carve this out and it's really, really easy to slip and mess this up. So take your time and hold that Dremel with both hands. You know, I kind of like these lines. Why don't we put a couple more on here? I let the dye dry overnight. When I came back, I gave it a quick sanding. I put some sanding sealer on there and then I followed through with my favorite friction polish. After a quick cleanup, I used a small brush to apply some white acrylic paint. Once that white paint was dry, I came back with a pencil and drew on all the symbols and then followed through with a wood burner. And now we burn. I'm just using a cheap wood burner that I got at a hobby store close by, but you can find one at home improvement stores as well, or of course online.
The burning did leave the white paint a little bit singed, so I'm gonna go over it really lightly, really quick with some fine sandpaper. In this case, it was really good that I gave it multiple layers of paint. Now I'm just touching up the paint a little bit here and there where it needs it. Just remember, it's not meant to be perfect. It's supposed to look rustic. So imperfections are actually great in this case. And now I believe we're ready to part the wand from the lathe. First, we'll start with the tip and get it pretty close, but not quite all the way through. Then we'll move to the actual handle and part it off there. This is actually pretty risky, so if you're not comfortable with doing this, I don't recommend that you do. You can easily take a little saw and saw it off. Now we're going to sand both ends of the wand. And add some black dye to the tip. And of course we have to drill out the pommel very carefully so we can insert our core. I just happen to have some dragon heart strings laying around. Yeah, it does look like a D string from a guitar, but I think that'll work just fine, actually. Now that the dragon heart strings are inserted into the wand, we can epoxy the end cap on. We'll want to clamp that down for a little while to ensure that it makes a good, tight fit. Thanks for hanging out with me for a little while. I appreciate you watching. I hope you had as much fun as I did making this video. It really was fun uh, and a big learning experience too, as this was pretty much my first YouTube video like this. So I hope you found it entertaining. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned something and uh, definitely hit that subscribe button and like and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this. Um, should I make any more videos like this? What would you like to see? 
you want to see any other wines that I've made, make sure you check out my website, winecrafter.com, and hit me up on Instagram. I'm all over Instagram. I've got tons of stuff out there. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, whatever. Each wand that I do is unique. One of a kind, that means there's only one like it. Oh, by the way, you might have seen a little business card sized piece of paper with a word written on it. That word is a promo code for all of you that have stuck around here with me. That promo code will work in my Etsy shop for 10% off of any purchase. I gotta go make some wands. See ya, peace out.